Okay guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to take your new Nexus 7 and unlock the bootloader and install a custom recovery uh, on your device. So, first thing you're going to need to do, make sure you have a decent charge. I got like 50, over 50%, it's probably enough for what we're doing. Uh, more is better though, definitely more is better. Um, so then you're going to go into settings and we need to go into about tablet and we need to turn on developer options. Normally they're listed right down here by accessories, but they're not. So we need to turn that on. So to turn on uh, developer settings, what you're going to do is come in here and you hit the build number, which is this JSS15J, and you just keep tapping. And down here it says, now you are a developer. And if you go back, you now have developer options above your about tablet. Um, then you need to click on this, and you see developer options is turned on, but we need to turn on USB debugging right here and hit OK. Um, you want to make sure this is turned on and you need it to install the ADB um, drivers correctly on your computer otherwise this will not function correctly um, so from this point you've got your tablet set up your tablet is on and let's go over to my computer and go through the steps to set up what we need to set up on the Windows computer to do this okay guys so this is what we're dealing with right here these are the files you're going to need. They're normally in a file. This is what the zip's going to be called right here. A new Nexus 7 uh, file and it's a zip. So you will just open it up and tell it to extract. Uh, I do normally open with 7-zip, um, which uses a tool that extracts it. But you're going to extract it and you want to see basically this file structure right here. Uh, your USB drivers are right in here and you can use those to install them. I'm um, probably going to also give you a different USB driver install just because it's probably easier to use than using this one right here. And then you have all of these files. So once you've got your USB drivers installed, um, it's pretty simple from there. Once your drivers are installed, just go ahead and plug in your USB cable uh, to the bottom of the device. And make sure you have a good connection there. And let your computer install the drivers. So let's check out the drivers are being installed. So right here you can see these are the drivers that are being installed. I like to open them up and uh, look at them this way. Um, you should have USB debugging turned on on the device which should set up the uh, ADB drivers correctly. Um, but I like to open up this little window and just make sure that Windows uh, finds all the drivers correctly. You should see your USB composite, your Nexus 7, and then Android ADB interface. It's very important that you see the ADB interface for this to function correctly. So now all your drivers are installed correctly um, and we can move on to the unlock procedure on the device. Okay, so you got your thing plugged in. You've gone ahead and done the uh, drivers. You have your ADB drivers installed. What we're gonna do from here is we're actually going to power off the device. All right, so we're powered off. Let's go ahead and hold volume down and then power. Not volume up, just volume down and power. And this should boot us into bootloader mode. And there we are. And you can just leave it on the start. And you can kind of see right down here that it says fast boot mode. So at this point, go ahead and plug back in your cable. And we're going to let the fast boot mode drivers install. Uh, it should only take a second. Let's go check on the computer. Okay, so here it's uh, searching for the drivers again over here on the computer, and our tablet is uh, in bootloader mode, so it installed correctly. So all we got to do now is come over here, and again, we're going to open up a command window by holding shift on the keyboard, then right clicking, and say open command window here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, a different command here. This is going to be fast boot devices. And it gives you a number and says fast boot. That means that the computer is seeing your tablet, all your drivers are installed correctly. This is just a prerequisite to make sure that everything is functioning correctly. Um, it's not really necessary to type fast boot devices, but it just proves that all your drivers, everything's working and functioning uh, how you want it to do. So all we got to do now is type in fast boot um, O E M and then unlock. If I can spell it correctly. 
and that should be all we need and hit enter and voila now you can see down here on the device it tells you about this it says that this is going to may void your warranty it tells you that this is going to wipe everything it does a complete factory reset it erases everything on your device pictures everything completely wiped off okay so if you need anything obviously before you get to this step you want to make sure you back that stuff up hook up your device to the computer and pull files and pictures and like that but this gets you an unlock bootloader so then you're gonna go ahead and say yes unlock and actually it looks like you do that with the volume up so you want to highlight that yes and then you select it with the power button and should okay now right here it says um, lock state says unlocked right there and secure boot is enabled but it says it's unlocked so we should be able to go ahead and hit restart with the power button and you can see you had the little unlocked Google right down there um, so now give this thing plenty of time because you see right here it's going to go through this process and it's going to take, it could take 10-15 minutes. Let this thing fully boot back up and we're going to power it down and get back into bootloader, fast boot mode I should say. And we're going to flash our recovery from there. So uh, just be ready for that and when it finishes booting we'll do that. So let's just pause here and we'll come back to it. Okay, so your device here, as you can see, has uh, rebooted, and um, I'm going to go ahead and just bump through this process really quick here, and get this device fully connected up, because I want to finish this whole process and do a full, a full boot up here before we shut it back down. I'm just going to skip through it all for right now, and okay, so we are fully booted. This is a fully booted state everything on here is okay our USB cable is still plugged in on the bottom um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing off and actually I'm gonna unplug the cable at this point we're gonna turn it off power off and we're gonna go back to fast boot mode so we can flash our custom recovery I'm gonna be flashing twerp recovery or team win recovery project uh, because it is my favorite recovery. I uh, use it on everything because it's awesome. So we're going to hit hold power down, or volume down, I'm sorry. Hold volume down and hold power and get us back into this uh, fast boot mode or boot mode here. Should just take a second. There we go. And you're going to just scroll up there and then go ahead and reconnect your cable. And set the device down again and let's go back to our computer screen up here on top okay so you can see what has done, happened in this command window the command window is still open um, and the next command we want to do is actually just go ahead and type in fast boot devices once again just to make sure that it comes back with this number in fast boot that says everything is working again drivers are still functioning good everything is how we want it and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to type in this file is what we're going to flash. This open recovery uh, twerp script is what we're going to flash. So what we're going to say is uh, f fast, let's see here, fast boot, let me do that in the, without the capitalization there, fast boot flash recovery and then you want to put in the name of the recovery so what I like to do is I go right here and I say rename and then I just do a copy and then I don't rename it and then I paste in paste and then you have to type in at the end dot img because it is an image file that is the file extension so fastboot flash recovery the name of the recovery and at that IMG and then you hit enter and you can see what happened here it says sending recovery okay writing recovery okay finished let's go ahead and go back to the device and show you what we got so right here we can scroll up and down here through our options with the volume button so right here we're gonna go ahead and go to recovery mode and then hit power to select it 
and this should boot us into team win recovery project um, which is our custom recovery we just flashed there it is shabam and you have unlock bootler you have custom recovery you can go ahead and unplug your usb cable at this point i would highly highly recommend making a nandroid backup which would be right here picking your things go ahead and your in storage is going to be internal um, and go ahead and swiping across and creating this backup now that would be my recommendation on this not necessarily necessary right now but I would go ahead and do that just to be safe but I'm not gonna do it right now just gonna go ahead and reboot the device reboot system I'm not gonna fix this right now do do not install this is supposed to fix uh, root permission on your device that little right there but right now you don't have root permission that's gonna be my next video go ahead and show you guys how to get root access on this device um, this is gonna be pre prerequisite though so you gotta make sure you do this first um, but that's it now you have your custom recovery you can do get root access or you can just go right to flashing a custom ROM however you want to do it but this is the process you're done on the computer that's all good to go there you go unlock bootloader custom recovery on the new Nexus 7 hope you guys like this hope this was very informative for you you can close all the programs on your computer again I'm gonna give you guys all the links for this in the uh, video description down below everything you're gonna need should be down there got any questions please message me happy to answer things as always check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com or rootjunkie.com and uh, you can follow me on facebook or twitter over down there and we'll catch you next time thanks for watching guys